Hello, my name is Rosamond Bernier. Now, as all of you remember, Cezanne said of money, money is just an eye, but what an eye. Had the ex-master known Roland Balai, he might have said the same thing about him. But as Roland was only four when the ex-master died, precocious as he was, he might not have had time to make an impression. <laughs> but later on, he impressed dealers and collectors alike with his infallible eye. And that eye was not only right on target for old master paintings, it zeroed in on pretty women and food. He was a connoisseur of Cunel. Such was his expertise in that latter department, and such was the affection he kindled in the hearts of maitres d'hôtel and owners of the best French restaurants in New York, that for his 90th birthday and his 100th, La Grenouille sent over a platter of his favorite Cunel de Brochet en hommage. Roland, as you heard, had a solid French bourgeois background with renowned art dealers on one side and textile industrialists on the other. As a child, he was taken around the European museums to look at art and he could never get enough of it. He loved even the labels, a family member told me. Unfortunately, I did not know Roland well, but I have a vivid memory of looking at paintings with him when my former husband was briefly associated with Nerdler. There was an almost visceral response of pleasure. He loved painting deeply and really didn't have his heart in selling. His long life covered so many changes in the art world, masters, movements, collectors, dealers. His father was a passionate Proustian, and as a small child, Roland got taken for holidays to Cabour, Proust Balbec. Still a small boy, he was taken to Belle-Ile, as somebody mentioned, that little island off the coast of Brittany. And he actually met Sarah Demar, and had, who, she had a house there, and used to declaim from her favorite rocky perch. Another family visit was to Giverny, to visit Monet. Many years later, when Roland was urged to visit Giverny to see it restored, he answered, I've been there, I was there with Monet. A wonderful childhood, yes and no. The family watched over him all too closely. Although in his 20s, his uncle paid the elevator man in his building to report what time Roland got home from his nightly escapades. So Roland simply paid the man more just to keep quiet. <laughs> Roland was a Parisian bon vivant. He loved a good time, he loved to dance. A stop at Régine in Paris was a must to finish up an evening. I still remember the mischievous glint in his eye. He was always fun, always good-natured, totally unassuming. This combination of qualities won the confidence of major collectors. He met Edward G. Robinson in the Oyster Bar to negotiate buying his collection. Robinson was getting a divorce and the wife wouldn't agree to splitting up the collection. Later, Balai sold it to Nyakos. He was close to Helen Frick and toured Italy with her to look at old masters. He would surprise the guards at the Frick today by telling them he used to come there as the Frick's guest for meals. Among the collectors who trusted and liked him were Andrew Mellon. As you know, um, Roland had more than something to do with acquiring those wonderful Russian pictures from the Soviet. Uh, Henry McElhenney, uh, John Loeb, jo Jock Whitney. He was in fact the trusted advisor of a whole generation. John Richardson told me that Picasso liked Balai, not an easy achievement. Incidentally, Roland came to the United States on the same boat with young Pierre Matisse, setting off on his new career. They remained friends forever after. An unexpected note, Roland met Salvador Dali through Christian Dior, long before Dior was to become famous as a couturier. Dior had a little gallery at that time and took Roland to meet Dali. Balai became Dali's dealer and the rest is history. Another perhaps unexpected note, I have what the French call the mémoire du ventre, 
and I remember well a meal with Roland at one of his favorite French restaurants in New York. To top it off, Roland insisted I try a cordial he recommended. It consisted of one-third creme de menthe, one-third creme de cacao, and one-third cream. It was called a grasshopper. It was delicious, like drinking a chocolate peppermint, but I must admit I never tried it again. <laughs> now you're going to hear from someone who really knew Roland well, John Richardson. I only wish I had had that privilege. <laughs> 